Hi everybody and welcome to this final round score booster video for Expert Division in the Parisian Tour 9 Hole Cup. Please give me a thumb up on the video if you don't mind and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It is totally free to do so. Due to time constraints I'm unable to cover all nine holes of this round but instead uh, rather than give you no content at all I've put together five holes where I think you have a very good chance of getting a drop with the notes on screen and suggestions of tweaks where possible. Timestamps in the video description down below. Good luck. Here we go. We're going to start with hole number two and we're going to add spin first. 3.1 backspin and one right spin. You can set the spins with a navigator to have accurate amount of side spin, but if not, it doesn't matter. Uh, so 3.1 back and one right. Blue ring touching the rough on the right at P3, minimum distance line with our sniper. And then zoom in um, as kind of much as you can in order to pull the rings. Obviously, you don't want to zoom in too much, um, but the trees may be in the way. So just take a token, get familiar with it. But the adjustment is min plus 35, power 4 settings, bouncing very nicely on the fairway. And subject to any wind angle tweaks, you should be in or close for the hole in one. Uh, on to hole number four now, the next par three, we're going to go with the blue ring touching the rough on the left and the top of the inner green ring touching the edge of the tree shadow. So make sure you zoom in and get that position sorted. Uh, it is a tricky one to find, so a practice token may help. Then we go with 0.5 top spin and three bars right spin. The adjustment here is one to one. So 7.9 in wind, we're going to adjust 7.9 rings now this is all about getting the curl right here uh, and i would suggest you try a couple of clicks more curl to the right now you can see i'm dragging the ball over looking at the right edge of the ball trail and in the end uh, it needs to be a little bit closer to the uh, tip of that triangle or if you want to think about it you can kind of think uh, maybe just a couple of clicks more curl than half a ball. Pause the video, get some visual references, but a little bit more curl, you'll be in for the hole in one. Find the position on hole five with the quarterback blue ring touching the rough on the right at P3 max rest. Then swap to APOC and thorn bag. Five and a half top spin, two bars of side spin to the right. And then we adjust maximum distance, no elevation. So max plus zero in this crosswind angle and then you will need to note your drive distance ready for the adjustment on the second shot so adjusting the drive there for me that's 5.9 rings but obviously you will always need to use a calculator as you may have different wind strength or different club accuracy centering the ball hitting perfect no need for any curl or overpower just a nice perfect ball bouncing down the fairway and you're going to be in the region of 338 yards, which we are here in the video. 338. Second shot, I started with a couple of clicks of top spin and I took them off. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I would like you to use 0.2 top spin and whatever left spin gives you a nice straightish ball guide into the hole with uh, in the middle of that funnel, blue ring touching the rough. You can see here for me that is two bars of left spin, but uh, I just came in short here. So 0.2 top spin will mean that the ball guide is just going through the back of the cup rather than to the pin. So bear that one in mind. However, the adjustment I have here is absolutely spot on. 338 for a drive distance, you're gonna play 18% slider, 10% elevation, and pull this one over the bullseye. Like I said, I like the adjustment. It's 2% per yard. If you drive longer, say 340, you are nearer, so you would play 14%. We've got tutorials on that. But the problem is here, just needs a little bit more top spin, and that will carry us very nicely into the hole. If you like the free content here on the channel and you want to help keep it free, you can support the channel and the BK Golf Clash community. No monthly commitment over on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash BK Golf Clash. You get the tournament win charts very early on once the round has begun. You get elevation sheets for tour play, shootout sheets with general elevations for CPC as well. 
and there's a tour rotation coming up so it's an excellent time to support us and get all those goodies if you're playing tour play loads of membership perks and it all helps the channel thank you very much if you do consider supporting us on patreon going to play aggressively on hole seven apoc five and six yellow ring touching the bunker at the top of plus 24 apoc four will be at p5 max rest and you will have 10 percent of the yellow ring falling into the sand 5.8 top spin and two right spin so we're going to go go with the berserker here and then we are adjusting max plus 10 power 5 settings max plus 10 power 5 then no push up needed here instead we are going in going to go with full overpower max overpower it's a nice slow needle two and a quarter ball curl to the right draw a line down from the tee it would be colliding with the top tip of the triangle so there's your reference Perfect ball away, minor greats will be fine. And we're bouncing over and rolling here to around a drive distance of uh, 405 yards. Second shot, this is going to be a pretty much a max distance wedge, maybe 95% if you get a better rollout. I'm going to show you the setup here. Always go with two left spin. And we're going to play Enbringer School Ball Guide definitely into the hole, but instead of 20%, use 25 because I missed with 20% elevation, so 25% P5, you should be in. Hole eight, blue ring touching the rough, red ring touching the tree shadow, get those ring references as close as you can, and then we are adding spin, 1.9 back spin, 1.9 left spin. Weird spin amounts, but they have been working nicely for me. So make sure you get those ring references as accurate as you can, as well as your spin. Then we're going to push rings to adjust, otherwise uh, it's a little bit of a pain with the trees in the way. So mid plus zero, power three settings, and we're using sniper 10 numbers for me. That was coming out at 7.4 rings, so I did four and then another 3.4 rings. Centre the ball, might need a wind angle tweak or two, but if not, very good chance at the hole in one. This is middle wind strength and middle wind angle, as with the rest of the shots in this video dropping nicely for a hole in one good luck thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel if it has helped you in any way please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game join us also on facebook head over there search for bk golf clash and join our free group loads of members there sharing shots free guides are posted as well as loads of other great golf clash resources so check us out there you can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general finally if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody please consider becoming a patreon member the link is in the video description down below good luck see you soon bye for now